Hello everyone and welcome to this video. This is how to create a menu system on the Arduino for a TFT or LCD screen. So there are two prerequisites for this video. There's the TFT video and also my buttons video. So it would be useful if you had a quick look at those two first before starting on this. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to try and accomplish in this video. You can see we've got the TFT screen there showing menu one. And you can see here there are two buttons. And when I press the up button, that's going to go up a menu. And when I press down, it's going to go down a menu. And this is quite useful for a number of different things. And that's what I'm going to try and show you. Now, there are one or two changes from the buttons code and the TFT code. But I'll go through what those changes are in a minute. Alright, so I think it's time to start. Okay, so here we are. I've created a new sketch and I've copied over bits of the TFT and buttons code from the previous videos. So you won't need to do that unless you want to because I'll try and supply this code. But anyway, I'll talk you through it now. So we need to include the SPI library and we need to include the TFT library. Now over here I've defined chip select, DC and reset as pins 10, 9 and 8. Now I'm not going to go into that too much because if you go to the TFT video it will explain that there. Um, but I've wired this accordingly as well. Buttons, I'm using pins 2 and 3 for, bu for button up and down. Right. So here I'm defining the menu size and I'm creating a string array of menu items which will be filled soon with um, string representations of menus so you could say menu 1, menu 2, menu 3, menu 4 etc. And then over here I'm saying up last state is high and down last state is high. That's because the last state of both the up and the down buttons at this point will both be high and it's a well, there are two variables that to um, use to help detect when buttons are pressed and released. So the current menu I've set to zero, and I've got string temp. I'll come back to that in a minute. And I've also got a character array of ten for current printout. Also, I'll come back to that soon. So let's set up. So we go to the setup section, and I use pin mode up, which I believe is two, and maybe three is down, could be reversed, but pin mode, up and down, input, pull up. I don't think I need to go into input, pull up because one of my previous videos should already go through that, but we'll be using input, pull up anyway. Very basically, um, it pulls the signal to high if it's not low, so if it's floating, it gets pulled up to high. So, menu items, I had an array which I showed you just earlier. Here I'm filling the array with the strings that I want to um, show on the TFT screen. So menu 0 will say menu 1, and then menu 2, menu 3. You can change that to whatever you want. So then we begin the TFT screen, the TFT class. And now after I've changed a menu item, I've got to, I've got to run this menu change method which I created. Again, I'll come to menu change method in a minute. Then in the loop, this is what I'm doing. If the up button is not the same as the last detected state, because remember we save the state. So in other words, if the up button isn't how we remember it to be, then change how we remember it to be to be whatever it is now. So, so for example, if we remember that the up button, the last state was high, and it's now not high, in other words it's low, then change the last state to low. And what that does is it helps us to detect changes in the state. So here we're saying if not up last state, it's a little bit confusing, but that means if it's not high, it's Boolean. So up is true or high and down is false and low. Yeah, it's a little bit confusing, but um, that's basically seeing if it's true or false, high or low. So it's saying here, if it's not high, then it's just been pressed. And if it's just been pressed, get the current menu and then change the current menu number according to this state. 
after you change the current menu number because it could be going it will now be going um, higher or lower in this case it will be lower so if it was menu number three it'd now be menu number two and we set it here or here um, then call the menu change method and then we've got the same sort of thing here for for the down button and then we've got a delay of 50 milliseconds now this menu changed method this is the method which is in control of printing the menu to the TFT screen. So here we'll say, uh, well, there's a serial print line, that's obviously diagnostics, but here we'll say, um, if the menu's changed, get the TFT screen, set the background to white, then set the font size to size 3, then set the foreground to 50-50-50, which is like a greyish sort of colour, then that temp string that I mentioned before, that's now this value, which is the array um, value. So the selected cell in the array has a string. Well, temp is now that string. Then we're saying get the currently selected text from the menu and then change it into a character array. And then put the character array representation of the string into this current printout array right 10 characters that means so it means I think it means that copy the first 10 characters um, obviously if you're a, if your menu text was longer than that you'd have to change that and you'd probably have to change it up there as well but mine isn't so that's what that is and then TFT screen dot text so give it current printout which is the the string to a character array and then this is the position 25 and 50. 25 is the uh, horizontal position and 50 is the vertical position. In other words, cent well, kind of center it. Okay, and there we go. So there's the code for making a menu on a TFT screen using the Arduino on two buttons. So I hope you like this video and if you if you did like it, please don't forget to click subscribe and you'll be um, updated when new videos arrive. Thank you for watching. Bye.